Okay guys, here we are again. It's Monday night nine ball again. And we've got Dizzle and Izum as usual. And they're playing with Tin and Romario, who are paired up. Of course it's a race to seven. It's handicap. And we'll have a quick look at the brackets just while the break off's going on there. We are in the second round. And this is a second round match here, the one that we're watching. Um, we can see that Team 2, which uh, is Tin and Romario, are getting the 7 and 8 ball as their extra money balls. So uh, Dizzle and Izum are going to have to work hard to win that match. They actually just scraped through their first round match by 7 racks to 6. Although they did have to work hard there because uh, their opponents, Wizkid and It's Me, we're getting five and out, which is a real heavy handicap. But they came through it. Um, this is probably going to be a tougher match for them to win. Uh, the other match that's on, we've got Atrito and DJ Redo paired up against Popman and Senny. And uh, their match is underway. And of course, the losers in uh, the first round matches move over to the one loss side. Uh, Bill and Larry are sitting there waiting and Wizkid and It's Me are waiting. So they're all waiting on the results of these two matches here. So the loser of these matches uh, will move over to this side. So now we've done that, we'll go back to the match. And uh, where are we? We've got eyes room at the table, ball in hand. Now it's going to be a problem here because He's going to have to try and, well, Dizzle is. Dizzle's going to have to work this uh, cue ball, and uh, there is an angle there to get the cue ball down for the three off this two. Just needs to get it up over to the right middle pocket somewhere, I would think. Well, he's came back the way. He could have went forward, he could have went either way, but he's left eye zoom the longer shot. And in goes the three. Now, what I didn't notice there was that the six ball is stuck behind the seven, eh, behind the eight. Now, that six ball will pop, but only from <coughs> certain angles. So he can certainly cut it, and I think he can get it from there. Um, well, that's looking pretty tight. He's dangerously close to catching edge of that eight ball. That looks okay. Yep. And Izum's going to have to play this with a lot of inside English, a lot of right hand side to hold the cue ball and get it back across for this nine. He's got entirely the wrong angle on it, so let's move down and see how he accomplishes this. He's got a lot of right hand side on it. Cue ball will check back off the rail and come back across and hold its line for the nine. And that's a easy out for Dizzle. So Dizzle and Izum are taking the first rack in this match. But it has to be said, if they make a mistake late on in the rack, then uh, Tin and Romario won't have a lot to do to win the rack, and this is why the pressure's on Dizzle and Izum, but we've got a good break there. The only unfortunate thing is the two ball has gone safe. Uh, the one ball went in, and the three ball, the two balls tied up. Again, we're going to get a bit of tip-tap safety here. I think uh, Tin's looking at a possible billiard off the two onto the five there, but he declined it, and of course, he's not got the safety, and he's left the two on, so he might have been better taking a bit more time to think about what he was going to do there. 
So that's given Dizzle and Izum a gift of a chance. He needs to get this cue ball out and away. Well, that kick's actually done him a little bit of a favour there. It's held the cue ball. So although Dizzle's got a long shot here, he should just not drop this in and just leave I zoom the long five. As long as he's got an angle, he can get the cue ball over for the six. Well, that's pretty straight, but he's he's got a slight angle there. He's going to have to force it across. And doesn't want to drop the cue ball behind the seven here. Has he drawn it again? Now he's stunned it and he's played it right, but it's gone straight, I think. So this is a problem shot, and this is the one that will win them or lose them the rack. He's got to get the cue ball up for this seven. And that looks good weight. And that's perfect. Just drop it in. Well, so far, in these uh, early racks, we've seen nothing of uh, Tin and Romario. But it can all change very, very quickly. So I zoom tidies up and it's now 2 0. So any chances that Romario and Tin get they're gonna to have to pounce and they're gonna to have to take take whatever they get. And this time there's no joy for Dizzle. Once again, there's no real shot for a Mario, so he really should be looking at playing a good safety here and getting that cue ball as far away from the one as possible. And the angle's there to do it. He can cut the one to the right rail, get it in behind the six and onto the bottom rail and get the cue ball up the table. Well, he's played it soft, and again, although he's left it tight in the rail, that cue ball should have been miles away from the one. And it is tight on the rail, so it makes a cut very difficult. Well, I think uh, the advice that uh, Izum was getting there from Dizzle's maybe confused him because in the end he's played he's played nothing and left it on. So here is ten. And Romario's chance, and Romario again is pretty straight in this too. He's going to have to draw it. A bit of bottom left English to kick the cue ball up the table, and he's played it well. And now the shot that Tin's got, the simple shot is just to pot the three and the cue ball come up past the eight. As long as it gets away from the eight ball, he'll leave his partner a straightforward shot in a four. Well, what what do you think? Do you think that was obvious it was going to happen? And, uh, well, Romario wasn't interested in trying to uh, manufacture his way out of that shot and he just played a deliberate foul, so he's more or less handed a, another gift of a chance. So the obvious thing that could happen there was hooking himself behind the eight, so... You had to play the right shot and he had the wrong spin in the cue ball and it just locked up with a spin and took the pace out of the cue ball and dropped it right in behind the eight. So they're not doing themselves any favours when they are getting a chance. Well, 
this is going to be a good shot. He's left a square cut on this six. And the cue ball's going to be running up the table, so he's going to have to sort of drag this maybe. Uh, I don't even think he can hold it doing that. It's going to be a, a good shot to get position on this seven. Well, he's played that well. That was a good shot. So, this will just punch the eight ball in, get the cue ball off the end rail and side rail and out, and just leave his partner a simple nine. So now it's three nil, and uh, we've still not seen anything of Tin and Romario. And what we have seen, um, it doesn't. Uh, bode too well for their chances in this match but I still say anything can happen the ball goes in in a break I think it was the 8 ball that went in and there's a shot in the 1 and the balls are all in the open again 5's hanging over the right middle so I reckon it has to be expected that Dizzle and Izum should really run this table, there's no problem. Now, that's uh, that could have finished a bit better. It's uh, it's left Izum a an awkward cut on this too. And he's got to also remember where the three ball is, so he's got to try and get his partner on that three. Now is he going to play a bank and try and get it in off the five? Yep, it went in as clean as a whistle. And a bit of, bit of too much pace in the cue ball there. And Dizzle will still look to cut this in. And he should have him on the four. Cue ball will go up to the right hand side of the nine, unless he puts any other kind of spin on it. Oh, well, there you go. He played it. He played a controlled shot, but he just caught that jaw. So, th this is, I, I'll say it again, it's a, a golden opportunity for Tin and Romario but the problem here is is that three balls deep in the pocket and this makes control of the cue ball difficult so all he can do really is try and come off the edge of it um, and again that could have uh, been played a lot better and now it's been thrown away didn't leave his partner on a shot And his son Romario is asking why he didn't draw back, because you just need to get the cue ball out into the table. And that was a good one. I assume just using the four ball to billiard off onto the the five. And I'm afraid uh, it does not look good. The prospects don't look good for uh, Tin and Romario here. Again, we've got a distance shot, so this is all about controlling the pace again. Potting the 7 isn't the problem, it's getting that cue ball up into a decent position for the 9. And that's running. That looks... It's gone just a tad, tad too far, so he's cutting it back. And the danger here is it cuts back to the end rail first. And 
there you go, he's overcut it. That's always the the likely thing that's going to happen, but that's now forced tin into either going for the bank or going for a thin, thin cut along the rail. The, cue ball, the uh, nine balls off the rail, but uh, it's a delicate shot, so he went for the bank, and again, far too much top in the cue ball, and he's actually double kissed it, and that's rack over. So, things are going from bad to worse, I'm afraid. It's now four racks to nil, and the race to seven. And Dizzle breaking off in rack number five. How's his luck? Well, a wing ball flew in there. Three balls have gone down, I think. Yep, the three ball, the five ball, and the eight are all gone. But no shot in the one, unfortunately. Good break. Now you'd think that looking at what's left in the table, this has to be Romario and Tin's best opportunity yet if they get in. Well, he could have played that better, so Romario has a, well it's not an easy one ball, and again he's lashed at it, and this is, this is you seeing Romario, what he's likely to do, and it doesn't do him or his partner any favours, he's lashing out at a shot. Got to take your time, use up the shot clock well. I doubt very much they expected to get back to the table after that. Um, I don't know what happened there. What Dizzle was doing. Oh, well, that's, again, we've gone disaster. <laughs> this is a comedy of errors, this rack. Oh, dear. Well, I just hope they don't watch this video. I mean, it's been handed in a plate and handed back twice. Unbelievable. Well, we've got a very strong likelihood of the old bagel, as they say in uh, the States. Just a simple roll in in the seven ball, just cue ball in the middle of the table anywhere, and I zoom will finish off the nine. We're just going through the motions here at the moment, we're not seeing anything spectacular, in fact, we're seeing exactly the opposite. But nevertheless, it is five to zero. I do breaking off again. Well, I think another three balls have gone in there. What have we lost this time? We've got the three, the four, and the six ball have all been dispatched on the break. But once again, absolutely no luck getting on this one ball. This match would be long over if they, they'd been able to finish on a ball. So just to push out. And no doubt Romario's going to go for the, the bank, I would think. Yeah, and again, rather than going for the controlled power, he's went for the heave hole. And what do they do in these pockets in virtual pool for? You hit the jaws, they're going to stay up. And they can, well, that's a poor shot. That was really bad. Far too much spin on it, and again it's a a gift for Tin and Romario. Now, the seven ball is the awkward one, but if he gets the cue ball down the table here, he's again he's under hit that because he's got the wrong angle left here for Romario. The, the cue ball's going away from where he wants to be going. 
and Romario had to put a lot of spin on that to get the cue ball in there and he played that well but he, again he's had him to work you've got to get your partner better positional shots so finally we've got Romario and Tin on the board it's now five racks to one. Oh, and they've got a ball in in the break five balls gone now how's that one looking well it doesn't look very good but they can certainly get a good safety out of it just roll that cue ball in behind the four punch the one up the table but Tin seems to want to be playing a draw shot with the looks of it well did they play the draw into the two we'll give them the benefit of the doubt but as you can see we've got no shot in the one again now that probably cuts behind the eight but Romario's looking for a safety and he's got it that's a good shot and Dizzle we we'll have to try and kick this maybe between the four and the seven he's looking at angles here to try and pick out a shot or is he just going to try and bank onto it looks like it well again cue ball in hand one ball tighten the rail almost again now he doesn't want to push this onto that jaw. We've seen that happen before when you've got these close to the rail shots. And he's played it okay, left his partner on the three. Now, does the four go past the seven? Yes, it does. And Romario just looked to check, so he just rolled through. Now, here's the problem shot. Tin's been stuck against a rail, which was a poor shot. So now he's going to struggle to get Romario onto this six. Now, can he see enough of that to pot it? I think it's touch and go. Whether he can get it without fouling the nine. He's putting a bit of right hand spin on it to just try and make the angle and avoid a nine. Well, he's well that was well played. He's got the shot. Now here's the crucial one. It's the seven for rack number two on the board. I don't know why Tin's looking around at things. He's looking at eight. Somebody please tell him he only needs a seven. He, and if he's going to try and get onto this eight, he can make a right hash of this. Well, in the end, he sunk it, so it's now five racks to two. And we've got a right mess up in that top right hand corner. We've got the five onto the three, so the three's impossible to get to. Let's have a look. There's no way he can get to that three ball, so he's going to have to, or whoever gets there is going to have to maybe knock the two onto it to try and get it in out, out the way and open that pocket up. So this is going to be interesting. And Aizu might be, I don't know whether he can take the cue ball over that direction. Well, he has, and, it, and the three's gone in, so that's opened the pocket up, but unfortunately, with the one ball not going down, he's left his partner in a right mess here. And Dizzle's going to have to spin past the two ball, come off the end rail, the side rail, and kick into the one. Is he trying to get behind that four? I thought there was no room there at all. So he's given ball in hand away, but the one ball stuck behind the four. Now, is this maybe going to be a good opportunity to try and <coughs> hook them again? Or can he get that past the four into the middle? Well, that's going to be ball in hand because he's not got to a rail. Oh dear. 
It doesn't rain, but it pours. So, I zoom doing the right thing. He's got a one ball combination on the nine, which is relatively adjacent to the pocket, and he's got it lined up straight. But he's uh, thinking twice about it. And they're going for the run out. Again, with the calibre of these guys and the balls all in the open, they really should run out. There's no excuse. Again, cue ball just goes around the corner off the end rail and the side rail down past the middle pocket for the five on the left hand side of the table as we're looking well he just stunned it could have ran through either or but again you see the issue there he's still leaving his partner at a distance and you don't want to be leaving your partner at a distance because again controlling the cue ball is more difficult fair enough the balls are all in the open so in this instance it's not a major issue but you've really got to look at playing the shot that gets your partner on the next ball in a much better position rather than leaving them long all the time. Sooner or later you're going to get found out. So in goes the seven. And Dizzle's left his partner perfectly on the eight. And he just needs to kill the cue ball right where the eight ball is. And it's a straight nine into the corner. Well, just a soft roll. That was six and a half a dozen. But all that matters is the score is now six racks to two in favour of Dizzle and Izu. And they're on the hill and they just need one more rack and that will send Romario in tin to seek success on the other side of the tournament draw sheet but we aren't there yet well three balls dropped in and uh one ball's tied up against the seven, so just a safety of some description coming up here, I would imagine. You could use the seven as a stopper and just come off the edge and bring the cue ball right up the table here. And that's played at a good pace because he's going to hook them right behind the nine. Now can he see an edge? Well I think if he puts a bit of left hand spin he can see the edge. Yeah, He didn't put anything on it which is why he didn't hit anything. So once again it's been gifted ball in hand and this might be the final nail in uh, Romario and Tin's coffin unfortunate cue ball kicking into the two has knocked it safe but I think um, Dizzle will have the have the balls tied up here in a second or two I would think unless he's going to try and bank the two but I would think he's looking to tuck the cue ball in behind the six well he's got the snooker probably would want it tighter than that to make it even more difficult at a distance but the cut is there 
and the cue ball will be heading straight back up the table. So this is all about pace again because the cue ball can't run up and down the table because it's going to run into the 5 and 9 so Dizzle did the right thing again if in doubt just get a good safety and leave your opponents in trouble so all that Mario's looking to do is to try and kick at the 2 in between the 5 and 9 he's got the kick but he's left it on so now this is a perfect opportunity because the natural angle is going to bring the cue ball either straight up the table or he'll push it through off the side rail and out for this four. That's looking a bit too hard. Well, it's finished okay. Any further, he did a hook behind that five, but it's all in the open now. Oh dear, well, Dizzle, what's happening? Well, you know what they say, just what takes one shot to turn a match, and uh, I think if Tin and Romario, well, well, they've got second prize here, but if they actually win this rack, stranger things can happen. But all that Izum can do is kick. How's his luck? Well, it's not too good unless this ball holds up in the pocket, which it has. Oh dear. Well, I don't think you can get much awkward than that. That is a tough one. No. I think the eight ball's actually in the line to actually try and kick at that. And Romario had to try and make the angle to get there and he never got it. So now it's ball in hand once again. And surely, surely this time they can finish the match off. And Dizzle's played that perfect because Izum doesn't need to do anything, just roll through on this five and he'll leave his partner sitting in the six. Doesn't need to force it in, just pot it. Dead weight will do nicely. Let's have a quick look. Yep. Yeah. Well, slightly the wrong angle in the six, but it shouldn't be a problem, I think, unless he somehow collides with that nine. I can't see that happening from here, though. It doesn't look like it. He might have to go all around the table, though. Yeah, needs to avoid the eight, which it has. Can kiss into the nine, that'd be nice. And that's finished absolutely perfect, because the cue ball is on the rail. And there's, a, there's seven balls off the rail, so there's a slight angle. And Izum can play this. He can put a little bit of spin on it, but again, he seems to want to draw. Well, it's there. That's all that matters. And... The crucial one now, of course, cue ball in the middle of the table for the nine. Well, he's just gone a little bit farther than would have liked, but it shouldn't be a problem. And unfortunately for Tin and Romario, their prospects for the rest of the tournament does not look good if uh, if they actually play the way they did in this match. But it's now seven. Two is the final score for Dizzle and Izum, and I think uh, if we look at the bracket, we can see that, uh, well, it will update eventually. Um, Dizzle and Izum are into the semi final, and they, of course, they're going to have a wait now for the results from the 
uh, other matches. So they're going to play the winner of uh, Atrito, G. D. Redo, and Popman and Seni. And that's still to come. So we'll see you again sometime.